guys, hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, wait, hello guys, hello guys, welcome back with me, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. So today I would like to read an article from the Maritime Lawyer. Maritime accidents are often unforeseen and unfortunately common due to working with large machinery and in difficult conditions. Even passengers on cruise ship face unforeseen personal injury. Maritime workers are not usually protected by state workers' compensation laws. And they are protected by a variety of federal acts and laws that ensure they receive proper treatment and compensation in the unfortunate case of a personal injury. As a narrowly law cases fall under federal jurisdiction, jurisdiction important rights are given under federal law such as the Jones Act, the Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act, LHWCA, the Death on High Seas Act, the Outer Continental Shelf Lands Act, OSCA, the Defense Space Act, she Wartiness, the Suits and Admiralty Act, the Public Vessel Act, the Limitation of Liability Act, the Non Appropriated Bank Instrumentalities Act, and other general maritime rules and regulations. We discuss most of these federal laws and status further under the page labeled Maritime Workers' Right Week. As attorneys with decades in experience in maritime law cases, we can help you understand where your potential case falls under and what your employers are required to do or provide to you in the case of an accident. We understand from experience how to guide our clients through the choppy waters of a maritime accident claim and make them feel at ease with their attorneys fighting earnestly on their behalf. What should I do right after a maritime accident? Working in the maritime industry puts yourself in harm's way constantly. Injuries can result from the actions of non-actions of your employer and co-worker, but also may just truly be incidental. Even if you think the injury is minor, it would it will would be best to document it and get a medical opinion in case it does not heal or lead to further injuries. The employer may offer you a doctor to see, but you are always allowed to seek an, an outside medical doctor of your choosing. After your injury is documented, you should make sure to inform your immediate supervisor and employer about the incident and the personal injury. As soon as you can, you should prepare a written report on what happened. Do not rely on your company or crew members to do this for you. Also, do not sign any report you did not approve or write. You should compile as much information about the accident or injury as soon as possible. This may include photos of the area where the incident occurred and machinery work with. You should also try to get contact information of those who witnessed the accident or were in, and were info, involved with their personal injury. Do not accept compensation or return to work unless you are healthy and confident you have received proper medical care, even if you do not foresee Issues you should still contact an attorney for free consultation to ensure you are being treated properly. How to file a claim and if you may have a case. If you rush back to work or sign compensation agreement without 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 the help of an attorney this can complicate things if further issues arise in your case. Maritime accidents and injuries are a difficult time for those hurt and their families. With our experience and knowledge, we can help guide you through the difficult process step by step to make sure you are taken care of and properly compensated for maritime accidents. But our maritime lawyers, why should I hire a maritime accident lawyer? 
Maritime employers and insurance companies employ teams of dedicated attorneys with a specific job of making your dispute go away in the cheapest and quickest way possible. Often this means claiming juris jurisdiction in foreign countries which limit your compensation. Without the help of an experienced maritime accident lawyer, companies will use their vast experience and power and resources to overwhelm you in an attempt quickly and your claim. This usually results in a judgment that significantly undervalues or rejects your claim completely. An experienced maritime accident lawyer can ensure companies act accordingly in resolving your claim or face litigation in a court case. The accomplished maritime injury lawyers will greatly ease the burden and stress of your claim by leading you through every step in expertise and reassurance. The maritime attorneys at Doyle Dennis LLP with their decades of experience will also allow you to get an expert opinion on your claim with no fees necessary. With our knowledge in admirably low, we can help you understand what your case is worth and how you can get the compensation you deserve. The benefit, the benefit of working with a maritime lawyer at Dole Dennis LLP. A maritime lawyer has decades of experience in aggressively foreseeing offshore injury and Jones Act cases. We have a track record of swiftly forcing maritime cases to get the best recovery as soon as possible. We have won millions for clients involved in offshore injury and Jones Act cases. We have a track record of taking offshore injury and Jones Act cases to trial and winning. Offshore companies and their insurance now our history of success, which translates to getting the best result for our clients time and time again. Are there upfront costs or a charge for hiring a maritime accident lawyer? No, there are absolutely no upfront costs or charge hiring a maritime accident lawyer. We work on a conti, conti, contingent, contingent, contingency fee basis. If we don't win for you, we don't get paid. In fact, we take on the financial risk of the recovery process because we believe so strongly in our clients and the strength of their claims, we do not have to spend a dime on us as your legal counsel unless we recover for you. You are always welcome to set up a free consultation with one of our attorneys to talk about your potential claim. We take great pride in our attorney-client relationship helping clients seek successful outcomes. Okay guys, maybe that's all from me. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you.